Hello, uh, my name is Tammy and this is the first video blog for Coana Financial Solutions. It is our intention to actually have topics that the viewers are requesting, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but there might be a link just below this video where you can submit your, your topics of choice, or if that doesn't work at the end of the video, there will be a link to our Facebook page. The most common question that we've been receiving is what is an EA and what's the difference between an EA and a CPA. So I think we're going to go ahead and cover that. Um, these videos are going to be a quick overview because we don't want to take up a ton of time trying to explain the topic completely. So please go ahead after you've um, listened to the video and check out the supplemental blog that's written that has all the fun details and all the stuff in that that um, you probably will want to look at. I uh, will give you a quick background on myself. I am an EA. I have 20 years of experience in bookkeeping and have a few degrees in accounting. I entered the tax profession in around 2001, so I've been focusing on tax since about then, and I'm also working on finishing up my master's in taxation. Uh, so let's just jump right into the question. The EA was actually, is actually the oldest distinction or designation that was enacted by Congress in 1884 with the passing of the Enabling Act when the Treasury was about 105 years old, I guess young back then. Um, the Congress decided they wanted to have professionals that were representing citizens before the Treasury, so that's why the whole pushing of the enrolled agents came about. These are a federally licensed tax professional that is extensively tested in the area of tax, representation, and regulations when it comes to any area of tax. Um, CPAs are a state licensed professional and their job is essentially to ensure that the public companies are releasing financial statements that are reliable and accurate for investors. What they do is go in and audit financial statements and then they give what is called an attestation to the financials to let it, investors know that what they are looking at is actually true and accurate. Um, so essentially it comes down to EAs are tax are licensed and trained and educated in the tax area. CPAs are educated and licensed in the accounting area. EAs can also represent you before the IRS as well as CPAs. However, CPAs may not be as effective. Go ahead and check out the blog that we wrote on it for a little insight into what the judicial professionals, how they view CPAs and them representing people, taxpayers in court. Uh, the bottom line is you need to make sure whatever service you're looking for that that individual is licensed in that area. If you're looking for someone in tax, you need someone licensed in tax. If you're looking for someone in accounting, you need someone licensed in accounting. As long as they're licensed in the area you're looking for the service, you can be sure that they are continuing their educations in that area because that's what's required in order to keep their license current. Again, thank you for listening to our video blog and for additional details on what I've just talked about here quickly, please check our video blog that's also named the same, what is, a C what is an EA. Thank you again.